Hi PCC, it's Graeme Williams, the head squash professional here at the Philadelphia Cricket Club. In this video we're going to look at the follow through. So basically what we do after we hit the ball with the racket and how that's going to impact our movement. Um, quite an underestimated part of the, the swing this. In fact, you know, if everything in before what we spoke about in this video has gone wrong, the follow through can still get you out of trouble. Obviously it might not be a, an aggressive hard shot, it might be a slower softer shot but the follow through is the thing that can make sure the ball really goes where you want it to. Uh, a few little points on the follow through. Uh, we really want the racket head to stay on the same line as the ball for as long as possible. It is naturally going to come away from that line, but we're trying to keep it on that line for as long as possible. Um, the other thing is, like when you throw something and as you let go of the, the object that you've thrown, uh, there's that relaxation. It's the same when we hit after we've struck the ball, we don't want to keep really tight on the racket because that will impact that flow in the follow through. So after you've hit, you want to try and relax the grip, obviously we don't want to drop it, but we don't want too much tension, otherwise you don't get that natural flow. Um, so the way that I'm going to explain this, um, it's going to be how this follow through is going to help us move back to the middle from where, we, where we've been. So if I was up in the front on my back end, like I've come in and hit the ball, what I need to do is wait for the natural moment that this racket's going to come back to me and that's going to help me move backwards rather than me fighting that. So I come in, I hit, I'm going to stay on the line for as long as I can, that helps with the control and then I'm going to let the racket come back and bring me up. So coming again, I'm just going to hit in here and I'm going to let the racket bring me back. You see that second one was a drop shot but it's still the same. You see lots of amateurs like trying to rush and yes we want to get back here but if we're trying to move as we're still hitting the shot, we're going to lose a little bit of accuracy. Okay, so the timing is so important. In the back of the car, it's a little bit different um, because my weight is I'm moving forwards as I hit, and that's the direction I want to move in. So my movement out is going to come with the shot a little bit more. So I'd be in this position here, and I'm going to transfer my weight forwards. My follow through is going to come to the target then it's going to bring me back towards the middle. Again, mistakes that happen here is we try and go straight to the tee, which is great if I'm hitting a cross court. If I'm trying to hit a straighter ball, I need to let that weight come forward, let the racket stay with the ball for as long as I can, and then I'm going to find myself back in the middle. The easiest way to practice this is just simple ghosting patterns. Make sure you're playing different shots, little drops, drives, but really trying to finish the shot and let that natural um, movement of the racket aid your movement um, and arriving back in the middle ready to start the whole process again.